everybody, this is just going to be a quick video on some great beauty product combinations, aka makeup cocktails, um, products that I think work really well when you combine them. You can get all sorts of different effects with face makeup, eye makeup, lip products, just by doing different combinations or layering them. So I wanted to just share um, some of the ways that I like to do this. There are some products that I've been doing this with for a long time. Other things that are a little bit new to me as I've been thinking about this concept. The first thing I want to mention is mixing a facial oil with a more full coverage or matte foundation. This is a great way to get, I think, an even more natural look out of those full coverage foundations without completely diluting them. Just a couple drops of a facial oil, like I have the one from Jolique here, um, also the Josie Marin Argon Oil, um, what else? There's the Tarte Maracuja Oil. Just a couple of drops mixed in with, for example, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Coverage. This is the fullest coverage foundation I own, but I find that it blends in really easily and just thins out, looks even more natural on the skin when I add just a little bit of a facial oil to it. This can also be a great trick if you've got dry skin and going into the winter months you feel like foundations that did work for you in the summer are just a little too cakey now. This really is a great way to take away the cakey appearance. Another drugstore foundation that comes to mind that works well with this method is the Rimmel Stay Matte. And really a product that brought the whole idea of this video to life is this IT Cosmetics CC Plus Bronzer. This is really great mixed in with any foundation that you want to kind of just bronze up a little bit more, deepen up, maybe a foundation has become a little bit light for you now that you've gotten some sun or are doing some self tanning. So this is a great product. It comes in just the one shade and I do have a lot more info on this in the video I did where I talked about different CC and BB bronzers. This one's very different from other things that I've tried because it actually continues to have some coverage. So if you do go mixing this in with other foundations, you won't really water them down. You won't dilute the coverage. You'll add some bronze, but you'll, I think, continue to have coverage that you really enjoy. Um, a blush cocktail that I think is absolutely gorgeous, and it actually leaves such a pretty um, kind of glowy look to the cheeks, but I swear there is no um, real sparkle. When you get up close to your cheeks, you can't, like, see particles of shimmer. It actually, I think, makes the skin look even more flawless and airbrushed just by using this blush combo. So the first part of it is a cream blush, and it is the peach satin shade of the Maybelline Dream bouncy blush. It's a really gorgeous color. Beautiful coral shade for this time of year, but I really love it and I find I get really great staying power out of it as well when I pop a blush on top of it. So this e.l.f. Studio Blush in Candid Coral, sometimes on its own I feel like this particular blush is a little um, lacking. I don't know. Like I feel like I could use a little more color out of it sometimes. Maybe it's just depending on how deep my skin tone might be at the time I'm using it. But paired with this, it's so beautiful. Just love the way they combine. They leave the most beautiful finish on the cheeks. But if you're getting in kind of a blush rut or getting kind of bored with the products you have, just consider combining different cream and powder blushes. And you may discover some looks that you really like, particularly if your powder blush is a little bit on the sheer side. Some of those kinds of blushes might really surprise you when used in this method. Now this is one of those tricks I feel like I've been doing for a long time and it's pairing a like a pink cream shadow with your various pink and mauve rosy toned palettes and and powder shadows. I know this seems like a pretty logical thing to do, but I just wanted to throw it out there because it totally fits with the topic of this video, but my Inked in Pink Maybelline Color Tattoo. It's a really pretty kind of metallic, pinky cream shadow. Put that all over the lids whenever you're using other pink and mauve tones, like from the NYC Individualized Compact. This makes a great base for these shadows. It just intensifies whatever you put on top. Also your Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. This makes a great partner for these shades because there are so many like kind of fun, sparkly, metallic colors in here. And that shine comes out of these shades even more when you put it on top of something like this. Also, as I mentioned in my May Best in Beauty video, Loving taking different color pop eyeshadows, which have a very unique kind of mousse-like creamy consistency, but super long wearing. Love using these. Taking something like this, using it as the pop on your lid or your lower lash line, and then using matte shadows to really pull the whole look together. So in one of their latest collections, it was a six shadow set. There's a color called Snake Bite. It's a gorgeous goldeny shade. Another couple of shades that I really am liking from that same collection are Mirage, which is a great pistachio 
greenish color. And then this mauve with golden sparkle called prickly pear is a lot of fun as well. A little bit deeper than those other two. But grab for one of your favorite matte palettes. I'm loving Too Faced Natural Matte. What I did for this look today is I put strapless in the crease, just buff that in there. And then I put snake bite all over the lid. Just patting it on there with my finger I think works really well. Maintains a lot of the color payoff from these. And then go in with another matte shade like I used chocolate cookie. Pat that on the outer part of the lid. I also put some snake bite down on the lower lash line, but I anchored it in there again with darker shades from the natural matte palette. So this is just one example of the kind of look I've been doing a whole lot with my ColourPop eyeshadows, just pairing them with different mattes and seeing what kinds of looks I can get. Awesome mascara cocktail that I just kind of stumbled across is the Estee Lauder Little Black Primer, which is just a great, um, first off, natural like lash tint type product. When you put this on your lashes, you know, you don't feel like anything really dramatic is happening, but once you layer another mascara on top, it's like, whoa, this is a whole new world for mascara. Plus, I find it holds my curl so well wearing this underneath just about anything. But when I put the Benefit Roller Lash on top of that, I've gotten great results in terms of length, but also a really fabulous curl. And another mascara that I think is really awesome on its own, the CoverGirl Super Sizer. This on top of the Little Black Primer as well. Even better, um, kind of long wearing curl to my lashes. And my lashes really um, don't like to stand up straight. They point downward at all times. And I'm going to wrap this up with several lip cocktails that I really enjoy that involve my Milani Color Statement lip liners. These are just some of my favorite lip pencils and they're really pretty if you want to use them on their own. Put a lip balm on, fill in your whole lips with one of these. You're going to be so impressed with how creamy they are, how colorful they are. I haven't had issues with these bleeding outside the lip line and I have some pretty intense shades so I would know if they were drifting. But I also like layering these on top as kind of like a finishing touch little accent to different lip shades. For example, my Sonia Kashuk Shine Luxe Sheer in Sheer Pink Lust. This is an awesome, just peachy nude. It's got a lot of shine to it. But once I pull in one of my all-time favorite color statement lip liners in the shade Spice, I add this in and just kind of use it on the outer parts. And it brings some very subtle definition to the lips. That depth on the outside, I just think accents the look so well. Makes the lips look fuller. Just a great pairing with this soft peachy nude. Another great way to use your red lip liners is alongside a more orangey coral type lipstick. For example, here I've got the Kate Moss Lasting Finish Matte Lipstick number 109. It's very orangey. Sometimes the orangey things don't look as orangey with my lighting and camera, but this shade really does have some orange to it. And some people feel a little uncomfortable going too orange on the lips, but a way to make it more wearable is to pull in a red lip liner. So this is Milani's color statement in true red. Again, just throw on the lipstick and then add this right in your outer corners, kind of define your cupid's bow a little bit more. And I think you'll find that it makes the orangey or coral lip colors a little less scary when you add in some red. And lastly, if you're liking the lip look I'm wearing in this video, it's the NYX High Voltage Lipstick in Flutter Kiss, which is a really cool kind of mauve-y, um, very dusty rose type shade. And I love pulling in a little bit more berry to this color. So I take my Milani lip liner in Bordeaux, which is a great deep rich berry. Again, same method, just adding this on the outer corners. I feel like it builds up a look of fullness. It adds just a little more punch to Flutter Kiss, even though that's gorgeous on its own. I just like this little addition. And then for even more fullness, add a little bit of the NYX Butter Gloss and Meringue just on the center of the lower lip. It really just meshes with these shades so nicely. So those are some of my beauty product cocktails, little mixtures of products or layers of products that I think work really well together. I would love to hear in the comments section what products you're always using, like side by side with one another or mixed in with each other. These are the kinds of ideas that I think are great when you're shopping your stash, you're trying to make certain products go a little further for you, do different things. Consider combining them and you might come up with an even better product than you started with. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.